Hello and welcome to the product presentation of the new polyethylene pit by Technoalpine. Research and development is very important to us at Technoalpine, which is why we are constantly developing all our products. And our pits are no exception. I would therefore like to hand over the floor to Paolo Bagozzi, our product manager, who will present this unique innovation to you. Hello and welcome also from my side. Pits are of great importance for snowmaking systems. This is the point where water, power supply, as well as data network and air, if necessary, are coming from. We also use the pits as foundation for our fixed installed snow generators. So you see they are very important in the snowmaking systems. First, let's talk about the structure of the polyethylene pit. You see here on the bottom, we have a unified and standard um, polyethylene tank. And on top, as well as on the sides, we have the steel structure that um, provides the necessary structural force for the fixed installed snow generators. A polyethylene pit is available in four different versions. What basically changes is the top part, which is especially adapted for all different um, applications. For example, we have a, a one for the mobile snow generators, one for lances, and one for the 1.6 meter towers, as well as the 3.5 or 4.5 meter lifts. All the pits use a standardized 80, point, 80 by 80 entrance hatch. The difference, what you can see here, is that we have two versions. One is the one that you see here, which is um, in two pieces to be able to mount the electrical cabinet directly on the entrance hatch, which has multiple advantages. One is that it's easily accessible during snowmaking by just opening the hatch. And secondly, it's quite important for work safety because the snowmakers don't have to climb down into the pit. Therefore, they can do everything from the top. Nevertheless, it is possible, if the customer wants it so, to mount all the electrical cabinets directly into the pit by mounting it on the pre-installed mounting brackets that are available inside the pit. Secondly, I would like to talk about the weight. The new pit is very impressive due to the low weight. This allows to transport the pit directly on site with a helicopter, completely installed, which means that we deliver the pit with all the needed things inside the pit already mounted, like the electron on the hatch or on the side, as well as all the additional heating elements for the pit, as well as the lighting that is provided. Despite to the low weight, the steel structure on the outside still provides enough force to withstand all the 3.5 and 4.5 meter lifts. As I talked before, the third point is the pre-assembly of the pit, which means that the pit is completely um, pre-assembled, which means that on site, it just needs to be transported on the installation point, which it's just required to be connected and installed professionally. Therefore, the installation time is also very low. As you can see, at Technalpin, we are constantly improving all components of the snowmaking system. In this way, we want to guarantee our customer the best possible operation, highest use of friendliness, cost optimization, and of course, work safety. So thank you for the time to watch this short presentation. If you wish now, I'm available to answer your questions. Thank you, Paolo. 
In the meantime, I would like to ask you some questions. You spoke about the lightweight. How does that translate in numbers? Well, if we talk about the lightest version, which is intended to be used with mobile snow generators, we are talking about 300 kilograms. If we talk about the heaviest version, which, is, which the intended use is a 4.5 meter lift, we talk about roughly 500 kilograms. Okay. And in comparison to, uh, to a concrete pit, what would that mean? Well, the concrete pit is almost four to five times as heavy. Okay. So you said the pit comes in different versions, as you did uh, now. Could you explain how to differ a little bit? Well, the difference um, sits mostly in the top part and in the outer framework. So basically, we have for all the different applications, as I said before, mobile version, lance version, um, lift and tower version. We have different um, covers of the pit. For the heaviest version, which is this one on behind of me, we have the additional um, framework on the outside. And um, also, what is different is basically if you choose the double hatch or the single hatch. And also, of course, if um, where the, the electron is mounted. Mm -hmm. And can all snow guns, even the larger ones, as uh, TR-10, for example, be mounted on tower or lift on this pit? Or is, are there any restrictions? So we don't have any restrictions, because um, every different version has been um, dimensioned for the biggest intended use. So if we talk about the, the version behind me, which is the lift version, it has been designed for a 4.5 meter lift with a TR10 or TF10. Therefore, it's the, the heaviest possible version. If we talk um, for the lance, we have designed it for a TL6 with a 10 meter lance pipe and also a local compressor. Therefore, we have always um, dimensioned it for the biggest possible um, snow generator. Mm -hmm. And lastly, for which ski resort uh, could this pit be particularly in, uh, interesting? Well, especially in those um, ski resorts where they have uh, inaccessibility to, all, to the slopes due to uh, um, slope conditions as well as official regulations. Therefore, they need to, to transport everything with the helicopter. So with this um, polyethylene pit, which can be 100% pre-assembled, all can be transported on site in one time mm -hmm. and just needs local installation. And that's very quick. OK. So we have one question from the audience. I'm Good. just scrolling to can other systems like um, snow guns from other competitors or snow guns from other competitors be installed on these pits? pits? Well, this is always um, to be decided um, for every, so basically we need to know what um, snow generator is intended to be installed. Therefore, we can uh, um, check if all the, the weights are um, on the safe side. Therefore, we need to, to uh, decide one um, once at a time. Okay. Thank you, Paolo, for your time. And uh, thank you for listening and watching. If you have any further questions after we ended this live stream, please feel free to put it in the comment section of this video, and we'll answer it then, then there directly. So stay safe and goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you also from my side.